Hello everyone, the Empire Ian here with more new cards. We've got m m Fabled. Fabled. Uh, they just keep coming. They just keep coming. Every single day for the past couple of days. It, it's just one after another. I think it's going to keep going for a little bit too because we're getting the next Terminal World and there's going to be four of those. So I imagine two more are coming as well. Unless they want to save those for later. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, but yeah, we have uh, new Fabled cards. Uh, this is interesting. Um, unlike Jurak, uh, the last Terminal World cards, uh, Fabled actually has a game plan. The, the like it has like a theme to it. You know, the cards discard, or and then cards proc when get they get discarded. You know, it's kind of like a thing. You know, um, so I think you could maybe do something. They have some decent synchros, so maybe we can actually make something happen here. Uh, let's let's start looking. All right. Uh, the fabled behilmoth. I did. What is this? Is that? Is that what these things are called? Are they? They are. Holy moly! Is that what? Magushin. That's a weird translation. Okay. Um, the fabled. The fabled. Why? Why even bother including this then? Like, if that, if it's just gonna be called the fabled, you know, it's gonna be called the fabled. I guess just for the trivia, I don't know. Level two light beast tuner. You can only use the first second effect of the card once per turn. If this card is in your hand, you can discard two or more fabled monsters. Uh, we love discarding, including this card. And if you do special summon one fabled sacred monster from your extra deck whose levels equal the discarded monster's total original levels. Whoa. Treated as a synchro summon. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> okay. 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 That's crazy. Uh, this deck is based around that. So, okay. So I pulled up. Uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro uh, card database, so you can actually see what I'm looking at when we look at the ca the cards that already exist. Uh, in addition, instead of just me going like, "Oh, look at this thing on Edo Pro," you can't see. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's take a look at what we have to discard here. Like, uh, okay, so Fabled uh, sends himself. That's that doesn't matter for this. Uh, this guy sends a card from hand to grave. Now that isn't discarding, so. Um, and then this guy specifically says when this card is discarded to the graveyard. So uh, that's not, that doesn't, that's, that's, that doesn't work. Why, why, why are dual terminal cards like this? They're so confused. Um, anyways, Fable Ganesha is a good one. Um, just as a special summon himself. Um, Fabled Crust discard, or uh, summons something else. Um. Grimrose sends itself and then adds up from deck, so that's not what we want. Uh, this guy sucks. Destroyed by monster, monster by battle, sends the grave. Discard a fable to draw a card. Uh, during a main phase, discard fable and special limits card from your hand. That's actually not bad. Um, that's probably playable. And then we have the synchros. Uh, Topi. The opponent has two or more cards in their hand than you do. Reveal a fable, tribute this face up. Select two spell traps your opponent controls, destroy them. Weird. That's a weird one. Uh, discard any number of cards. Okay. Send a card. Okay. Tribute. Ugh. Main phase. Discard. Switch some of this card from your hand. Okay. Uh, when this card is discarded, the graveyard, select one face up card on the field and destroy it. Uh, Cat Sith is. Uh, okay. Uh, discard a card. This card's in your grave. You can send two cards from your hand. You have two or less cards. All uh, this card is discarded. Oh, here, here's another special summon, Cerberal. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, although that's a tuner, so we're not going to be, be able to do that off of uh, Fabled Behilmoth. Uh, so it might just be Ganesha and the other one that was next to him. Uh, oh, here's Pegalus. Pegalsus. Uh, this card, you switch summon and face down the. F uh, when this card is flipped up, uh, that's terrible. Never mind. Uh, when this face up card you control is selected as attack target, discard a fable monster to negate the attack. Okay. Discard. Uh, okay. And a Lurry. You could use Lurry, of course, but uh, it gets you a three. I don't know if they have a synchro three. Uh, and Lurry, of course, famous for the fiends Fiendsmith combo stuff. And uh, yeah, this deck has a lot of light fiends, so you can play your Fiendsmith stuff here plenty well. Um, Marcosia does uh, more discarding. Um, Fabled Abanak, Abank doesn't do anything on discard, but he does do stuff while in the graveyard, so he might be a good one to discard as well. Uh, that could get you Unicorn. 
Uh, and we go back up to Ganeshia. Crust could also get you Unicorn. Ganeshia could get you... Uh, so that's a Unicorn there. Unicorn has a, Unicorn has a Floodgate. Uh, while your opponent has... Well, you and your opponent have the same number of cards in the gate. All spell trap and effect monster effects activate your opponent and destroy that spell trap monster. So uh, it only works so long as you are removing cards from your hand or you've removed all the cards in your opponent's hand and all the cards in your hand as well. Uh, but yeah, we can go uh, Reagan, Ragan, because uh, he's a five uh, with uh, Ganeshia. And then uh, if we have one or less card in your hand, you can draw until you have two cards in your hand. Because it does count as a Synchro Summon. I think that's the idea here, because that's the only one that seems to matter about the Synchro Summon. Uh, all right. If this card, if a card is sent from your hand at a graveyard, this card is in your graveyard. You can banish this card, special summon a fable monster from your hand. That's not bad. The second effect is is okay. The first effect is crazy, uh, and I I think that's that's good. Oh, we have another uh, level four synchro monster, fabled Gamagin. Level four light fiend synchro tuner. Okay, requires a fabled tuner and a non tuner. You can use the first and third effects of this card once per turn. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can special summon a Fabled Monster from your hand or deck, so that also matters for this effect here, where it counts as the Synchro Summon. So you can use this and um, those two I mentioned earlier, the uh, the Crust and the one down here, the... Not the Cerberal, because Cerberal's a tuner. You can't use that. Uh, Ab Abank. Abank. Does it have to be... Hold up. Wait a minute. It doesn't say it has to be a, a non-tuner. So you can use Cerberel and just have a, another tuner on board. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's actually really funny. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, actually, you could do that. Uh, but it's, in the Synchro Summon, you can special summon a Fable Monster from your hand or deck. That's really nice. Uh, that's actually really powerful. Uh, your opponent cannot target other Fable Synchro Monsters you control with card effects. That's, that's fine. I, I'm okay with having that slapped on here. The card's already good, so that's fine. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can draw cards equal to the number of Fable Synchro Monsters you control, then discard one card. And that includes if it's sent to the grave by, you know, using it to Synchro Summon another monster. So then you can draw and then discard, which possibly procs an effect. Uh, we have another Synchro Monster. This is a 10. Uh, you're going to need uh, some combo potential here. Demon Roar God. Laversible. Fabled Swarm? Laversible? What? Okay, so that's... Um... Hold up, I saw him earlier. Or is it? Is it Valkyrus? No, Leviathan. There we go. Fabled Leviathan. That's Leviathan, but he's getting evil swarmed? Whoa, that's crazy. What the hell? I'll have to ask Golden Nova what's going on with the lore here. I have no clue. Uh, this 3050, 1950. What was his stats before? 3000, 2000? Uh, when this card in the field is destroyed, so the graveyard accepts up to three Fabled Monsters in your graveyard added to your hand. That's terrible. That's terrible. That's awful. Uh, what does the new guy do? Is he better? I would hope so. Was he a 10 too? Uh, yeah, he's a 10. He's a level 10, I think. Yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, that's 10. Wow. They would print dog shit on a level 10 back then. Um... You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Once per turn during the main phase, quick effect, you can tribute any number of fabled monsters, and if you do, take control of that many face-up monsters your opponent controls, but their effects are negated. It does not say... <laughs> it does not say until the end of the turn. It just says take control of them. Okay. <laughs> All right. If this card is in your graveyard, you could target one other fabled card in your graveyard, return this card to the extra deck, and if you do, add that target to your hand. Whoa. That's really neat. Especially because this guy is going to end up in the graveyard when you tribute him <laughs> to steal your opponent's monster so they can't make any plays. <laughs> That's really interesting. Wow. So if you can load up your board with this guy and a bunch of other Fableds, you could actually do a pretty powerful thing of just taking all your opponent's monsters so they don't they can't do anything. 
A lot of lore, the stuff there. Or not lore, but um, translation crap here. Um, and then we have a field, or no, continuous spell. What? Look at that. Hold up. Let's get a, gonna get a zoom on that. I'm not a lore person. I don't know the lore. I don't know what's going on here. It, it looks like he's heading into an ice barrier thing or something, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but that's beautiful. Like, literally, just the the work on that, that's beautiful. That's going to look really nice in a foil. I hope they I hope they make this one a foil, because that's going to look really nice. Not a not a secret rare, I hope. I hope it's a, uh, like a super or an ultra, so you can really see the, the quality on that. Um, but yeah, I really like I really like this. It's very painterly. I like that a lot. Anyway, Resurrection of the Demon... Okay, Raveled Realm Resurrection. Thank you. <laughs> Let's just skip the <laughs> really long name there. Uh, Fabled Realm Resurrection. You can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. Sure. When this card resolves, you can set one Fabled Spell Trap for your deck, except for Fabled Realm Resurrection. Uh, let's check for that real quick. We've got two of them. Two of them things. Fabled Treason. Target one Fabled Monster in your graveyard and one Facebook card in the field. Discard one card if you do special summon that monster from your graveyard and if you do destroy that card on the field. You can only activate one per turn. Uh, that's fine. Especially if you can get, if you get back, uh, this fucker. Or maybe you used, uh, Maybe you used Unicorn. Ooh, ooh, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. You used Unicorn on your way to make him. And so he's in, like, in the graveyard or something. And then you use this to get Unicorn back after their opponent, your opponent has expended their cards. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then the other one is a field spell. Uh, when this card is activated, send a Fable Monster from deck to grave. You can target a Fable Monster in your graveyard, discard two cards, and if you do, add that monster to your hand. You can only use this effect once per turn. If your Fable Monster attacks an opponent's monster, you have less cards in your hand than your opponent. Your monster gains attack equals to the number of different equals to the difference in the number of cards times 200 during damage calculation only. You can only activate one per turn. Okay. This one seems only okay. I, I gotta say, the, th the thing I'm worried about with Fabled is that too many of the cards need a discard? Does this need a discard? No, it doesn't. Just tributes. Thank God. Too many of the cards need a discard, uh, and none, not enough of them have a discard effect, right? I don't know why the new guy doesn't have both, right? Shouldn't shouldn't this new... Should, shouldn't, like... If you're trying to make Fabled good in the modern day, shouldn't you be printing cards that have both a discard effect and an effect while discarded, right? Like, at least this one has an effect that supports uh, a discard, but you need to have one other card that discards, right? Um, although, this plus a bunk equals the new guy who then grabs a failed monster from hand to deck, like Ganesha, and then you get, uh, Ganesha can be discarded by a bunk to summon a bunk and then summon Ganesha. And then you can make Ragan, Reagan, with those two. Uh, and then you have a four and a five on field for some reason. I feel like the levels on these guys have were not very well thought out. You can't use more than one tuner either. Do they have a six? Do they have a synchro six? No. That's fine. It's probably be, it'd probably be really terrible if they did. No, they do. They do have a synchro six. Uh, but you're, as far as I know, you're not locked in the fabled. So, but what does it do? Uh, your opponent can discard one card to negate this effect. Otherwise, draw two cards and discard one card. If your opponent is sent, if a monster is sent from your opponent's hand to the graveyard, uh, except during damage, you can target one of these mon one of the monster specials into your field and negate its effects. Mm. Uh, the first effect. Oh wait, your opponent could discard a card and negate this effect. But then the other effect procs. You know what? Actually, Andreath is not awful. Andreath Andreath is not awful because either you get a Oh, but they can just discard a spell. They could just discard a spell instead of a monster. And then you don't get the proc the effect. Never mind. I don't know about Andreath. Uh maybe you just go into uh Stardust Charge Warrior instead, or like any any other six, you know. 
Uh, what was the other effect? Um, oh yeah, we're just looking at the we we're just we just got to the first effect. Um, so yeah, those those two that you can set there are fine. I think Fabled Treason is probably the better, uh, especially if you could get Unicorn in part of the combo. Although that combo I just described does not have Unicorn in it at all, but uh, that was also only a two card combo. So you could you have three more cards. Ah, two card combo, dude. Um, all right, your opponent cannot activate cards or effects when your fabled monster is synchro summoned. All right, I'm listening. Once per turn, you can di once per turn you can discard a fabled card and add one activate one of these effects. Draw a card. Special summon a fabled monster from your graveyard of banishment. Okay, all right. Hold up. Does um. Fabled monster. Fabled, he searches a monster. Is there any way to search this continuous spell? Um, I legitimately don't think there is. No, there is. Marcosia. Marcosia can search it if he's discarded. See, this is what I mean. This guy has a discard effect. He has to discard two, unfortunately. And he has a card effect when discarded. Marcosia is how we should be printing fabled cards in the modern day, I think. I mean, go figure. He's printed 2021, apparently. Okay, so these... These ones down here are 2021, right? Oh, God. I remember these now. Oh my god, I remember these now. I remember Abank. I was like, Abank? It's like a newer one, isn't it? Yeah, he is. These ones were in 2021. I forgot about these. And the, all the rest of them are from fucking 2010, 2011. That's so funny. Uh, Okay, okay, so yeah. That's why Abank and Marcosia specifically are like that. Uh, I kind of wish... I feel like, um... Behilmoth needs to be more like that, too. But, um... Okay. So, Marcosia, if this card is in your hand, discard up to two monsters, except for Fable Marcosia, but including another Fable monster, and if you do, special summon this card. And then he gains 200 attack for each monster discard. It's only up to two. You don't have to discard two. Okay. So that's nice, but you still have to have a monster in hand that's not that hard i suppose especially since most hand traps are monsters and then if he's oh but he only searches if he's discarded to the grave uh that's annoying Mm, but the field spell can just send a bonk, and a bonk can discard Marcosia. You have to get Marcosia to hand, but you can search it with Gamigan. But to make Gamigan, you're going to need to draw Behilmoth and a level 2. Like a bonk! It's very circular, this, uh, this, I, this thing I'm trying to conceptualize. Uh, uh, hmm. This is tricky. Uh, Lurie's actually not a tuner, so you could just... You can make the, the, four, the, um, the 10 by having Lurie and the 4 and the 5 on field. R Ragan and Gamigan, uh, Reagan, Ragan, I, I don't care how you say it. And then Lurie would, would be the 10th the star. Um, so, okay. Um, here, here's what I'm thinking. Let's um, open up another Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. Let's, uh, get searching for um, Ariel 
either. Because we're going to be doing Fiend's Fist stuff with this, guaranteed. Uh, if this card is fusion summon, you can send the Fiend Monster from your deck to the grave. There you go. I mean, that's like, that's it. That's all you need. Uh, cool. So, uh, with this, the Fiendsmith combo, the, very, the famously uh, consistent Fiendsmith combo, um, which you can also access by just normal summoning Lurie. <laughs> if you, like, if you just have one of the many Fiends in this deck, you could just normal summon it and uh, go into, um, you don't even need Closed Moon. You could just you could just go into um, the fucking uh, requiem, um, but yeah, uh, you make Aerial Eater with the uh, fusion effect. Uh, you send Abana Abank uh, from deck to grave. Abank can then discard whatever you need, uh, whatever it's in, whatever happens to be in your hand or whatever. Um, I mean, that's not awful. It could be a lot worse. I think we want to run Ganeshia. Mm, this can also add to hand. Uh, you have to discard two cards to do that, though, which kind of sucks. So you could you could uh, send Marcosia to grave and add it to hand with Stairway, and then discard it with something like a bunk. Uh, kind of just this is going to be a really variable combo. It's going to really depend on what you draw, uh, like which direction you have to go, because you need to uh, assemble the cards in the graveyard and in the hand the way you need them to be, uh, and it really depends on what you draw. Uh, but yeah, the getting into Aerial Eater and then you use Fiendsmith to you know make to summon itself back and then you make a uh, fucking wave king right um and again you can do that off of any light fiend marcosia normal summon lurry normal summon uh i don't know that we're even playing any of the rest of these but you could play you could play diff if you want to i guess Ugh, that sounds awful uh Cerberal is a beast, so we not can't use him. Same with Cat Sith. I don't know that we even play Cat Sith. I don't know if we need that pop. Maybe you sided in going second or something. I could see that, maybe. Same with Topi, because just because they're like just on the like they're like little removal effects and they're in archetype. Uh Chawa we probably play. Chawa seems like something we should probably play, maybe. Uh, it's a beast, unfortunately, not a fiend. If it was a fiend, I think that would, the answer would be obvious. You'd definitely play it. Does it have to discard a fabled monster? It does. Uh, Grimrow. Oh, shit. Yeah, you probably want to play Grim. Oh, you have to control a fabled monster to use Grimrow's effect. I mean, you got to use your normal summon at some point. And the Fiendsmith engine doesn't do that, so I think that might actually be fine. Ganeshia is good. Crus might be good. It's a light fiend, so it's something you can just summon. Um, those are the only ones I can think of that might actually be worth playing. You're probably not playing all of those. Uh, uh, Abank is not a fiend, but yeah, Marcosia, Lurry, whatever, you know. They're pretty easy to get on the field, and then you can go into full Fiendsmith combo and uh, send whichever fabled card you need to have engraved at that moment. You can use uh, the field spell to swap them out if you have to. Um, yeah, I, I think there's something interesting here. I, I genuinely think this has potential to do something interesting. I don't know if it's great, but like, I think, I think if we can if we can get just uh Wave, wave High King Caesar with the two uh, summon the gates and this new synchro boss guy which I just I, I think he's pretty easy to make and maybe like a couple 
other fabled cards, if you could get like one or two, you can, you have two summon the gates and three permanent steals of opponent's monsters. Plus you can use, um, you, you, since you get the set the spell trap from deck, you can use fabled treason to get out unicorn at just the right moment to negate all their effects. If you weave Unicorn into the combo somehow. I don't know, man. It seems alright to me. It, it seems like weak to board breakers, potentially. Uh, which is, is definitely a problem. And it's definitely weak to Dimension Shifter. Uh, you get absolutely hosed by Dimension Shifter. I think even more so than like uh, most other decks. Like even like Snake Eyes, you're getting you get hosed worse than Snake Eyes on that. Um, but these like have something. Yeah, no, I I think I think they're actually heading towards the right. I, I, like like one or two more cards might be better. But uh, if these are if, if these are probably just the four that we get. I think these are good. Yeah. No, I, I genuinely think there's something you can do with these. That's really cool. Holy shit. Playable Fabled. Someone tell Doug. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed with these. I, I think that's a that's a really interesting Well interesting is a strong word. I don't it, it is still just like a build a board, but you know, it's it's fine. It's fabled. Who cares? It's it's cool. It's cool that fabled is is playable, I think. Um, and it's not an FTK like like a uh, gimmick puppet either, so it's it's even better. Uh, and I, I think I think it's got interesting because like I, you do end on a bunch of guys, so you can be like sphere moded. Um, but it it is on a bit of a different axis than normal. It doesn't. It's not destruction. You're not you're not doing destruction. You're not doing bounces. You're not targeting. It's not targeted. So only like the, the highest of towers can stop you. And they're not going to get that far. <laughs> of course, you, you're you going to have a hard time going second, I think. Unless unless those, um like I said, there, those, those, there's those, um, there's those uh, cards that can pop stuff when they're, uh, when there's discarded, like Cat Sith, but I don't think that's enough to really do enough. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's an option too. I, I think it's something to consider. I don't know if it's actually good, but it's something to consider. Um, I, these are cool. Uh, let me know what you think about them down below. I'm, I'm interested to hear your combos with these. Uh, let me know your boards. What, what are your, what are your end boards? What are your, what are your builds? Let me tell me, 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 tell me. Uh, I how do you how do you rank these in the terminal world arc uh, new support so far? I think these is weird because I don't think these are as powerful as the Jurak cards, but because of the fabled cards that already exist, these cards are much better <laughs> than the Jurak cards. Like just the synergies that they introduce uh, is much better. <laughs> um. So I do rank them above the Jurak cards, but only on a technicality of the fact that their card that the fabled archetype actually has some playable cards, whereas Jurak uh, previously had no playable cards at all. So uh, that's where I place them so far. There's two more coming. Let's see what happens. It looks like there's some evil swarm stuff going on with our boss monster here. So that's weird. Uh, again, go to Golden Nova's React to see what he thinks about that. Uh, I'll catch you next time, though. Bye. Hey there, thanks for watching another video. Why don't you give it a like, share it around, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell for notifications. You know, the YouTube stuff. You can also follow me on Twitch and Twitter for more content. I got content plenty for ya. You can also support the channel by giving me money. You have a Patreon. If you join the Patreon, you can show up in the credits over here. I would really appreciate that. You can also use my TCG Player affiliate link to get any singles, sealed product, or accessories you want all the store reporting the channel at the same time. That's all for this one, and I'll see you in the next one.
Be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, and have a wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you. Bye now!